Review. Review. Hey folks, it's Rob. I'm Stravis. And you're watching Spankwagon on Spankwagon.net. Dot net. Dot net. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, our, our little goblin here. So, here with yet another beer review. I hope you're enjoying the ones we've got so far. I know I did. Yeah, I mean, how can we not? I mean, seriously, how many bad beers have we had? Uh, like two that I can recall, maybe? Not including uh, the bad beer night, or what was it called again? Oh, bad drink night, yeah. Bad drink night, yeah. yeah. Uh, excluding that, uh, I don't think I've... There's been a couple of things that were kind of mild or tame where they shouldn't have been, but... But nothing where we had, we, we puked. Like, where we were like, yeah, spit it back in. No, nothing like that. So, uh, so we've got one, hopefully that won't make us puke. From Bear Republic, Tribute Ale Brown. Um, I have no idea what this is about, yeah. quite honestly. Uh, I remember whoever the um, hell Peter Brown is, yeah. sales manager, I have no clue. He just works with him and he's just like, hey, you guys should name a beer after me. Yeah. Like, there you go. Right. Ooh. Nutty bit of caramel. Oh, yeah. A little bit of malt, almost, or yeah, definitely get that nutty scent. That's uh, almost like very walnut in a way. Yeah, definitely kind of walnut, and then that kind of syrupy smell. What was it that you said? Um, oh, almost like caramel. Yeah, kind of like caramel. And yeah, then, it's where anytime that there's like a sweet syrupy kind of beer taste, it always smells like grapes to me. <laughs> it's because I smoke too much. I was gonna say maybe maybe you need to change cigarettes, man. Yeah, no, um, menthol cigarettes make you smell grape, obviously. I'll look at that pour. Yeah. Pour's very thin, noticing that already. Mm. It's, it's dark though. Yeah, it's a nice color. So, yeah, very, very dark. Gotcha. So a little bit of lacing, but kind of slides as well, so. Mm -hmm. But now that we've got it out of the glass, wow, that, it almost takes a brown sugar. Yeah. The caramel's gone and gets replaced with that. And even the nuttiness is really kind of really taking a steep drop. Yeah, no, now it's mostly kind of a. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it does still kind of smell like caramel, like kind of burnt. Uh, yeah. Smell, so. But, well, now, now we get a little bit more of a little bit more of the walnut, but it's not as. not as present as it was when we were just out of the bottle, so. Mm. So, shall we? We shall. Drink, bitches. That's sweet. Yeah. But now I don't get the nut or the nuttiness is. Mm, it's it's kind of there. Well, it's not like a sweet nuttiness. It's kind of gone to more of a. That kind of bitter skin. Yeah, taste. In, a, in a way, kind of like how walnuts sometimes tend to get. Yeah, especially like uh, when walnut looks kind of like dark. Mm -hmm. It's kind of got like almost chalky taste. Except it's not overpowering. It's something yeah. there. The funny thing is that you, that's the kind of stuff that you usually get in an aftertaste, and more so with this, you get it in the initial taste, and then the aftertaste kind of wears off. Yeah, you get it right, you get it right away, but it tends to die down fairly quickly. So yeah, definitely uh, still kind of the burnt caramel taste a little bit. Yeah, I still get, I still get that. Um, the maltiness just really took a dive too. I've noticed. Mm -hmm. But one thing I'm, I'm real, which is really really noticeable for me when I drink it, is just how thin it is. Mm -hmm. It's very very thin. I don't know, I guess with, with the flavor profile I'm getting, that's kind of a surprise. Yeah. No, this is kind of a... Uh, it kind of tastes like the way, kind of like, you know, Rasputin does. You know, like an Imperial Dark Ale, or Dark Stout. Um, it kind of tastes like that, but then um, it doesn't really stay there. It kind of just, like, puts this... Fill yeah, there's, top there's, top there's like, no it. creaminess or anything to it. So, on a scale of 1 to 5, what would you give Tribute Ale Brown? Probably about, like, a 2.5. Yeah, I, I'd probably say, I'll probably say 2.75. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's, uh, it's, um, it's definitely good, but it's not spectacular. It doesn't, you know, uh, it's not the kind of thing that I would keep getting, keep getting. I think I think it's just safe to say this one's okay. Yeah. So, 2.5 from Travis, uh, 2.75 from myself. Not bad. We, we've had better brown ales, and... Uh, Tao has seen me have better brown ales, haven't you? And I think Tao needs to, to have an opinion on this too. Tao, what do you think? She doesn't care for it. Yeah. So, tribute 
A.O. Brown. How did that? You know what? I don't want to. Oh, sorry. That was funny. Smash Cat, alright. So, tribute A.O. Brown. It's okay. It's okay. That's, that's okay. Hope you enjoyed this review. I'm Rob. And I'm Travis. You've been watching Spike Wagon on Win Spike Wagon. Dot net. Dot net. Drink bitches. You know, it's definitely better than, you know, say, like, Bud Light. We would never do Bud Light on the show, don't worry. Unless you're Justin and he's playing producer. Shut so. the fuck up. <laughs>